this is Rick Casales from exercisesforinjuries.com. In this video, I wanted to go through a must-do exercise for the core of your shoulder. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Rick Casales. I help people overcome injury and pain so they can get back to a healthy, happy, and pain-free life. Now, with this exercise, I'll get Alex to demonstrate it, and then we'll kind of break it down. Good, perfect, excellent, and then relax. So this, so what we end up doing is we're doing a side plank, and you can do the side plank from the knees or from the toes. You can start off with the knees, make sure you end up getting the exercise correct. Even just going with the side plank movement, we end up working on the core of the shoulder. And the core of the shoulder are all those uh, muscles around the shoulder blade or scapular stabilization muscles. Now, we can end up you know, challenging things more, so the left side with Alex is being challenged when it comes to the plank position, and now we can challenge the right shoulder when it comes to those, the scapular muscles or the core of the shoulder by bringing in the dumbbell movements. And the dumbbell movements that we're end up going to is arms to the side and bring the arms out, out front. We're gonna bring the arm to the side and out front and then also going from here and back out. So I'll get Alex to kind of go through it. So you go, first thing is you're getting in that side plank position, tightening up, bringing the hip forwards good. You're in a good alignment from here and a good alignment from here. And then she's gonna end up grabbing the dumbbell. And the easiest position to start off with is arms to the side, there we go. There, and then lifting it up, coming up just to shoulder height and then back down. Then the next one ends up bringing it flexion. And then the third one is there. Good. And back down, perfect, you can relax. So there you go, give that a go. You can initially start off with just going with arm movements. So your arm from the side out to shoulder height and from the side out front to shoulder height and then from, in, from the opposite shoulder or the floor across, just going with fist closed, going through the movement, then you can start adding some weight, the two or three pound dumbbell, and then you can end up going from there. So give the exercise a go. Uh, you might end up feeling it in your, in your core and abdominal area, but then you'll also feel it in those small shoulder blade muscles or the core of your shoulder. So this is Rick Cassell from exercisesforinjuries.com. Make sure to switch, swing by exercisesforinjuries.com. Enter in your injury or pain. There's a good chance that, that uh, if you enter in your injury or pain that I have an article, video, or an interview that will help you overcome your injury or pain. Now secondly, if you're watching this on YouTube, head up above, hit subscribe. What that will do is every couple days you'll get a video like this where I talk about tips and tricks on overcoming and preventing injury and pain. Now thirdly, head down below, hit like, and leave me a question or comment. Now lastly, if you're looking for a comprehensive program when it comes to working the core of the shoulder, take a look at my scapular stabilization exercises program. So this is Rick Casales from exercisesforinjuries.com saying take care and bye-bye.